Welcome to the Lansdowne Club. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so honoured and really appreciative that um, Andrew Brillingham has given me honorary membership for the next year. It's really exciting. Well, Lansdowne Club is all about inspiring business growth and, and certainly inspiring young people. And you're one of our youngest members, I believe. So I run the Experience Factory. So um, that's developed off the back of Park Street events, which is what people mainly know me for within Bristol and Lansdowne is just a way of being able to network and network is really really key especially for, for me and my business and, and trying to get new business but also about learning what's going on in the city and fundamentally with sport because I think that's really key and it, it will be for the next few years. I never never imagined I'd be running my own business at all. Um, I did, I, I went to university, I graduated, I went on to a graduate scheme um, but unfortunately I was in a car crash in London so I was signed off work, I lost my job um, and this all happened so, so quickly. So I felt like in the matter of three days, I had lost the ability to walk, I'd lost the ability to dance because I told I'd never dance again to the same standard and that was something that was, um, that was a big part of my life. Um, and I had a stick to walk, so I was you know, a, a young woman and everything that was fundamental to me had, had gone. But then one day I just thought I can either let this injury become me or it can be just a part of me. And I actually met someone from the Prince's Trust at, um, at an event and they said that we're here to help. And that was something that I hadn't heard before from an organisation. No one really knew what they could do for me. So they put me on the enterprise programme. I learned how to start up a business. Um, now I'm an ambassador, for the, a young ambassador for the Prince's Trust as my way of trying to give back and inspire other young people. And I really think what's key in the city of being an entrepreneur is if someone tries to help you, don't, don't say no, which is why the minute Andrew offered that membership, I grabbed the opportunity and, and feel honoured. Well, certainly we like you know what you're trying to achieve as well. You've talked about the Park on Park Street event. Of course, you did the Bristol Sports Day event as well, which we, of course, uh, have many of our representatives at. But you've talked about it there. You were a dancer as well. You danced with Darcy Bustle at the opening ceremony of London 2012, defying the doctors. <laughs> Do you think that having that attitude towards sport that has laid down key tools for you for the rest of your life? 100%. That teamwork, that dedication that you learn through training is fundamental and I still see it now with my business. What can we expect from uh, the Experience Factory in the coming year? Um, Experience Factory, well, it's, it's, it is quite new for me, so I'm just planning to build it, plan build key clients. I mean, I want to grow it so that it's, it's going across the country. For Bristol, um, I'm just waiting to hear about some exciting potential sports events coming up next year that we can deliver. Uh, so watch this space for that. Um, and I'm also bringing out a book uh, to try and inspire other young people just to uh, keep going in the face of diversity.